the modular way in which the training is developed should facilitate plan staff using the training in a, a variety of different ways. I'm a senior associate with Protechnon, which is a consultancy company that's working uh, for the well-being of children and is providing support to child rights focused organizations around the world. Um, I have both a child protection background and an adult education background, which I bring to this work. So the Child Protection Training Package is an initiative of Plan International, which is, aims to build the capacity of child protection staff at Plan, within Plan partners, but also it's, it's to be available more widely uh, to, the, to the child protection sector. So the idea is that this training package brings all of us together to establish common values, common skills and a common knowledge base and and sort of through that build a, a common culture of, of child protection. It basically starts with the learners. It seeks to understand what their struggles are, where we could make improvements and tie those improvements to to improved outcomes for children and improved protection for children. And what we have done is we've mapped with plans staff, first of all, the areas in which uh, child protection work needs to be improved. Then we've gone really drilled down into each of these areas to understand uh, where child protection staff are struggling. And then at each point at which they're struggling, we try to, to tease out, number one, is this because of the environments they're working in, right? So is it is it just because, or the organization that they're working in? Is it about HR? Is it about challenging governments they have to work with? Or is it about something they don't know, right? Or is it about a skill they don't have? Um, or is it more of a motivational issue? So we've tried to tease this out. Um, and then once we know this <laughs> and spend a lot of time trying to understand this, we can then be really targeted and come in and fill in these gaps. We have worked collaboratively at, at pretty much every stage of the project. First of all, we, we had to decide, you know, broadly what was going to go into this training because child protection work is quite diverse and we're realizing in the sector, as a sector more and more that we need to sometimes have very, very specialized expertise. So first of all, we sort of mapped sort of what these sort of particular areas of expertise were and, and, and to do this, we consulted at the country level um, with uh, uh, Plan International staff and partners of Plan. And then from th at that point, we took these results back uh, to a global steering committee uh, that also liaised with the learning and development team at Plan International and developed sort of at a very high level what the topics were going to be. Once we had that, we for each topic, we went back and, and we, we worked with Plan to identify content experts within plan and those content experts we then brainstormed with them to understand what the environmental factors were what the motivational factors were what the skills were and what the knowledge were that were, 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 were getting in the way of of uh of child protection staff performing as well as as they needed to on the job and then the other um, other group of people that we brought into this were content experts most of whom are within Protectnon, but we also sort of reached out as needed uh, to bring in some of the leading experts in whether it was child participation or coordination work um, in, in terms of humanitarian response or uh, understanding, a, you know, the, the, the sort of socio-ecology of childhood and child development. And so we, we then also consulted with these and, 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 and engage these content experts in actually developing the training. So, and what this allowed us to do was to marry a, a uh, expertise and a knowledge in terms of the pedagogy, like how do you train adults and how do adults, um, you know, how can you help adults uh, learn new skills and apply new skills and knowledge in their, their work with, with the expertise, both of the people on the ground who are struggling with this every day, but the people who are not on the ground, who have who've maybe put 20 plus years into this work. 
areas in which I've learned a lot about plans work have included the the way in which the organization is is working full spectrum. This is the direction that this commitment is taking the organization in. An area in which we are really excited is Protect Not to See plan put so much um, emphasis on and really put at the center actually of this training is really looking at the socio-ecological approach to, to childhood and to child protection work. And this is something that we are in complete alignment with. So we have high hopes <laughs> for what PLAN will do with this training. Um, and so there are actually many elements of the training including videos, including exercises that can very easily be pulled out to profile a certain skill, um, to deepen a certain knowledge. And so there is much within the training package that can be can be pulled out and disseminated through that network as a way of, of, of bringing focus to a particular issue. So, so there's ways in which it would be repackaged.